hidden cost associated with those fuels. Because if you force me to take off these blinders and see that, oh my gosh, you're telling me that gasoline is that expensive? You mean it includes the defense costs? Or some of those defense costs? You mean it includes um, the national security risk? You mean it includes the climactic costs? You mean it includes the health costs associated with the small particulates out of the tailpipe? She mm -hmm. many, that's expensive, Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd innovate. But I sort of don't want to know that. When it comes to electricity, I think it's about, in South Carolina, I think it's so cheap, I don't even know. I think it's about seven cents a kilowatt hour. Really? Um, but uh, that's because we got um, some nuclear, which is great. We also have some uh, coal, a lot of coal. Um, and so the result is that I don't know about the 23,600 people that die prematurely each year in the United States from the soot from coal-fired electric plants. I don't know about the three million, uh, three million lost work days. This is what I mentioned on our conference call. And therefore, um, keep me with these blinders on. I don't want to know the real cost. Um, so Congress hears me, and they say, we got it. We'll talk about clean energy and independence from foreign oil and things like that. Well, we won't do anything about it. Um, and so um, what you're here to, to help do, I think, is help people to hear it in, the, in Congress to see that there are people who are willing to see the true cost and to be aware of those true costs and then act. Um, here's one of them, get ready, ready, ready to speak to you, who understands these things. And, um, and then uh, you're also back at home uh, showing folks that really, this is a tremendous danger, huge danger for us in terms of the future of the uh, this glorious creation itself. Also, our national security, huge risk there, but an incredible opportunity. Right. Yeah. So now, what you should know is that there, there are both uh, uh, there, are a lot of progressives that are on this theme. Um, and I'm happy for you if you're a progressive here. Um, I, I should tell you, though, that, that on many other points, we might disagree. Um, like, uh, you know, you look at a guy who has uh, a zero with the ADA, and a, or had a zero with the ADA, and 93 with the American Conservative Union, and 100% with the Christian Coalition, 100% National Right to Life, and A with the NRA, and uh, 23 by some mistake, I ran into zero with the AFL-CIO. Um, and uh, so, uh, quite different, right? But on this point, uh, what we can say is that I'm, I'm, I hope you'll let me get away with saying this, what I said on the call. hope you'll let me get away with saying that conservatives really can get into this thing if we can show that this is about free enterprise and accountability. Um, and uh, it's about setting and fixing market distortions so that the true cost is in Eliminate all subsidies for all fuels, attach all costs to all fuels, and watch the free enterprise system settle this thing. Yeah. 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 yeah.